All right, guys, welcome back to episode two of the series. This episode is going to be extracting items with GMAD, uploading them to your server, and then I'm also going to show you a trick on our farm manager to speed that up if you're using Crydon. So, let's start. Um, so, the reason that you'd probably want to extract a add on um, from the workshop is if you don't want to rely on the workshop. So, sometimes add ons are updated and they have backdoors inserted in them. Um, there's all sorts of things that, like, can go wrong when you're using the workshop. So if you download the workshop pattern and extract it and manually upload it, then that means you don't don't need to rely on the workshop for that specific arm. So um, the most common thing people will use this for is maps. So that's what we're going to use as an example add-on, but it really works for any add-on. And I'm probably going to do two examples in this: one for an add-on, which is like a normal add-on, and one for a workshop pattern. So to get started, let's jump over to um, a file manager thing so this um, is if you open up um, a file kind of browser thing um, I can't remember what it's called Explorer you want to go to your Gary's mod folder so that's in C uh, program files I think uh, steam steam apps common and then Gary's mod somewhere here uh, and then you'll want to go into, I think it's bin, right? Yeah, there you go. And then there's this thing called Gmod. So um, <clears throat> this is the quickest way to do it probably. Um, so what you want to do is uh, go up here, just copy this um, entire directory, go out of this folder and integrate your Gary's mod Allens folder. Now here are all the Allens that you've got subscribe to your workshop um, this is kind of handy if um, you know the add-on you've got is um, already in your um, game so we're going to use uh, what map should I use RP downtown we'll do fine I guess um, so we're going to use RP downtown um, yeah, that's fine <coughs> um, so what what I advise most people do is right click on the .gma files. Now yours won't look like this yet, but I'm gonna I'm gonna show you that. So you wanna right click on this, and then click properties, and then click change, when, where it says open with. Now yours won't say gmod here, but you wanna click change, um, and then give that a second pop up. It's slow as fuck on Windows 10. Um, so then look for more apps. Scroll down. Look for another app on this PC. Now. Here's where you want to paste that thing we copied a minute ago. Um, if you don't have it copied, you can just, you know, scroll down here, go to my computer, program files, Steam, etc., and just work back here and then um, find GMAD. There it is. You can just press G and it will take you down to that letter to speed that up. Um, when you're on GMAD, just double click it, um, press apply, and then all of these will update and they'll have this little icon next to them. Now, why this is real nice is because, say you want to extract a, G a GMA file now, a workshop add-on, you double click it, you'll get like a thing that pops up. Uh, I didn't move it on screen fast enough, but that's fine. You'll get like a little console that pops up um, and then it will go away when it's finished. And you'll have this folder in the same folder that you double click your GMA. So you can just, you know, if you've got like a bunch of them that you need doing, you know, you say you've got like all of these you can just hit enter on it and it will just go through and do them all and leave them all extracted here so this is a map and this one's a little bit different so you can i think upload the add-on just like this and you can just upload this single file and it'll be fine but for maps you probably want to do it a little bit different um at least most people i know do so you want to go over to the so you want to go into the add-on uh until you find this dot bsp file and that stands for like something source i think something <laughs> i actually can't remember um normally i know that but that's the map um so once you've got this bsp file this is when you want to head over to the uh the uh file manager um now this is a pretty big map right this is over 100 megabytes so i'm going to try and zip this and hopefully that makes it small enough so that i can upload it if not um then i'm gonna um leave that for um another video because we're gonna go through sftp in another video um 
but what you would do is you'd come over here, go to your maps folder, and then you would just drag this BSP file into the um, into the folder, and then it would upload it. I don't think this is gonna shrink it by um, that much, so yeah, this is still just over, sadly. Um, but that's fine, um, no biggie. So what I'll do now is I'll show you another add-on, um, like a, a normal kind of add-on that you'd add to your add-ons folder. So let's see what I've got here. Um, this turtle add-on should work fine, I think. I can't even remember what any of these are. You know, we'll do popcorn as well. That'll work fine. All right, so here it is. Now you can do this two ways. So you can either go in and like upload all of these files manually through here, um, if you're gonna use this, or what you can do is you can right click on it. You can click seven, uh, sorry. Um, you guys won't have seven zip necessarily. So what you probably wanna do on Windows 10 is, I don't remember how you do zips. Oh, here you go, share I think, zip. And then that seems to have worked. Okay, that's how you do it on Windows 10. <laughs> uh, or if you have seven zip, then you can right click and then add to zip there. So we've got this zip. Uh, it's one megabyte, so we're just going to drag it onto the Adams folder, it'll upload, hit this little refresh button, and then you want to decompress it. Um, now you've decompressed it, you can delete this zip, and there's your add-on right there, popcorn swept, and then it has the, the workshop ID. And I'll show you what this is. So if you go to the Steam community, uh, uh, what is it? There's like a URL that's not showing up now. Um, if you're looking at like a workshop item look, it says ID here. So if I paste the ID, it should take me to the popcorn swept look. So that's what that number is. So that's an easy way to then get to the workshop file if you have one or day or something. But um, that isn't all. So there's a faster way to do this if you're using Crydon. So let's say uh, we want to add um, this RP downtown map. Actually, that's a pretty good example. Um, so it's a bit too big to upload it through the file manager, right? We're going to have to use SFTP. But say you don't want to use SFTP, you're feeling a bit lazy. Um, there's another way we can do this still. So we can go into here. We can get the add-on workshop ID. I believe um, we should be able to just go here, drop it in, click download. I've never actually tested this. I don't know if it has to be a collection or not, but I believe it works with both. Um, and there we go. So it says popcorn swap already exists um, because we've already, did I paste the popcorn swap ID in? Somehow I did, whoops. Um, so yeah, it actually detected that the popcorn swap was already installed there. So it erred, um, but that's fine. I just, I did it again, all right. There we go. <laughs> I can't go wrong this time. Um, so yeah, then you should just click download. And there you go, it's marked as downloading. Um, so I'll just give this a second and then it'll be done. Um, alternatively, if you have like a workshop collection, uh, so let's head over to the workshop. Um, Gary's Mod Workshop. All right, I'm back. I found the workshop collections. So for an example, for a workshop collection, let's go into this workshop collection I've got here. This has ARC Bank in it. So what we can do is we can just copy the whole URL or we can just copy this ID part like we were doing earlier. For this example, I'm gonna copy the whole URL. We're gonna come over to the workshop downloader. I'm gonna drop the whole URL in there, click download, and it should detect that it's got ARC Bank in there and it should download it. And there we go, ARC Bank's downloaded. Um, so that is an easier way to download a whole collection um, and that way you don't need to rely on workshop for the um, add-ons that you're using. Um, alternatively, you can just use workshop DL, which is really, really easy to, and we're gonna have a video on using that later. But for this video, that's it, and I hope you guys have a great day.